Well, um, we have some challenges in managing cloud environments on the um, account or user identity um, topic. So what we have is a very hetero heterogeneous um, system landscape where you have different uh, types of cloud applications. You have like a Concure, you have like a, a success factors, you have a analytics cloud. And for every system you have an own identity, you have an own uh, user credentials you have to type in every time you log into the different systems. So um, you might have 20 uh, cloud systems and 20 different identities. And for a user, it's uh, very inconvenient to use them. You forget the passwords, you don't know the usernames of it after uh, not using the system for a while. And what we are trying to achieve is um, to create a single identity. You have to authenticate against all applications. And this is the system, um, this is the ID, uh, single sign on topic we know from on-premise. And what we are doing is like taking it to the cloud. And um, many companies all, all already have solutions for this, but now we are getting new challenges for it. So what many um, companies are currently doing is they have like a central identity um, provider for their subsystems and um, one for Microsoft. So the user has to uh, use two uh, different uh, user identities for different kind of uh, systems. What we are now having, or what we are now trying to achieve is to centralize both into one central identity and use this for all different systems, um, regardless of from which um, company they're coming from. Um, so you have one identity and you can log into Microsoft, you can log into SAP, you can log into uh, Salesforce. And um, there are different types uh, of techniques how you can achieve this. So I want to show you two different architectures how you can um, achieve a central identity regardless of what cloud system you're using. So in the first um, te technique, um, what we are achieving to do is to use the identity authentication service from the SAP as an identity provider for different kind of systems. This time it's a sub-cloud platform. And um, what we are doing there is the user wants to log into the system. So it gets greeted by the identity authentication service. And now the question is, which user does he type in? What we, what we can do is use the Azure as a backend system for the identity authentication service. So the user um, types in his Azure uh, uh, user credentials. It's like the Windows password and username. And then he can log into um, the cloud platform or Salesforce or whatever. In the second uh, scenario, what we are doing is we are getting rid of identity authentication service and we're using the Azure um, Federation service um, for connecting sub-cloud applications. And this is something which works very well, um, which many companies are doing. And um, we had a few uh, years ago the problem with external forces in your um, company, um, how you want to store them because they're not stored in the Azure cloud because uh, they are not uh, normal employees. Um, for that, Microsoft has now a solution for business partners. So we have a business partners uh, Azure and you can use that um, for your external employees um, to log into your systems.